But they aren't done yet. Yeah. Okay. So really the only matter, well actually we've got, um, I'm going to just throw out if I could, one uh, matter before we get started relating to the Minya Fishing Game Club. Any update on what's going on with the uh, Fishing Game Club at this point? Not until after the, uh, the 27th. 27. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Um, we've got Silo, Silo Ridge and uh, Essentially, we've received comments from all the consultants at this point. They're, the last ones came in today. And um, it's going to be a matter of uh, review and then um, the applicants responding to the comments and uh, public review of those comments before the public hearing. This is uh, currently scheduled. What's the date for the public hearing? The May 5th. Yeah. Yes. May 5th. And, um, at 7 o'clock. Here in the auditorium. Um, and we also have a resolution that needs to be read due to the date change that was uh, put in place. You, it? you can read it. Knock right. yourself out. Thank you. The resolve. Yeah. Be it res further resolved that a public hearing will be continued by the planning board on May 5th, 2015, at 7 p.m. at the town hall located at 4988 Route 22, Amenia, New York. Be it further resolved that the clerk of the planning board shall publish and mail notice of con the continued public hearing in accordance with sections 121 62F C or F2, excuse me, and 121 66F1 of the town code. And be it further resolved that the applicant shall post notice of the public hearing on the revised applications in accordance with section 121 62 of the town code. And be it further resolved, a copy of the revised applications are on file in the Amenia Town Clerk's Office and the Amenia Free Library for public viewing and inspection during normal business hours. The application can also be view viewed and downloaded from the town's official website at www.ameniany.gov. Be it further resolved that the public hearing notice herein, the Planning Board will hear all persons interested in the application. Persons may appear at the hearing in person or by agent and may also submit written comments to the planning board prior to or at such hearing. Be it further resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution shall be filed with the town of the clerk's office within five day days after its adoption. Motion. i make the motion. Or a second it. All seconds. Okay, you're gonna take the roll. Joseph Fontaine. Yes. Peter Clare? Yes. Nathan Roy? Yes. Anthony Robostelli? Yes. Eric McEnroe? Yes. Bill Kroger and John Stephanopoulos are absent. If you could use this black pen, sign it, and you have two spots. At this point, I think there's not a whole lot of other matters to discuss um, prior to the public hearing. Um, Dave, you're going to speak to a couple matters. Well, one of the things that I wanted to let the board know is um, uh, for the public hearing, I'm planning on sending you um, a 
a document that's basically going to be like an outline or a roadmap of all the next steps that the board is going to have to take um, after you close the public hearing. Because up to this point, um, you know, we've been in a situation where the applicants are preparing you know, plans, the town's consultants have been commenting, the board has been commenting, and then the applicants have been revising it. Um, we've been doing that for a whole bunch of months now. Uh, but you're at the point where, you know, you're at the end of that review process. Uh, I, I would characterize the vast majority of the comments from the town's consultants as mostly cleanup items. Um, there's a handful of other things that, that the applicant's going to have to address, but the vast majority of them are cleanup items on the plans. Um, and you guys will have to make a decision whether or not, you know, you want the applicant to make, you know, revised plans, um, you know, after the public hearing, or whether you want to move to the approval stage and then condition your approval on, you know, them making changes to the plans. I would recommend you probably go in that direction um, because, you know, we should really have maybe one more round of plan changes here, and that would be to just to correct these cleanup items. So that can easily be done as a condition of any approvals if you so desire to approve the project. Um, so anyway, you know, once you close the public hearing under the state law, under the town law, that triggers a whole flurry of activities. You're going to have to consider and make decisions on these applications. You're going to have to decide to approve or deny a whole bunch of these uh, applications. Um, there's, there's staged, um, you know, decisions that are going to have to be made. Um, various documents are going to have to be prepared at each stage. Conditions are going to have to be, you know, imposed potentially. Um, and there's a lot of things that are going to have to happen. So um, I thought it would be helpful if I provided you with a roadmap um, for the public hearing so you would, you would at least know kind of what the next steps are going to be coming up. Um, so uh, I'll do that <coughs> and I'll get that to you, you know, sometime before the public hearing. If anybody has any questions, you know, let me know. <coughs> That'd be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, and then, you know, between now and, you know, the whenever you close the public hearing and even kind of before you make your determinations um there's a variety of other things that are going to have to get resolved um and i've listed those in, in in my comments and those are things that you were already aware of and you've been working on with the applicant i mean like just off the top of my head there's a field change protocol that's going to have to get taken care of <coughs> conservation is going to have to get finalized the bond issue is going to have to get you know finalized um, the HOA documents are going to have to you know, get kind of completed. Um, and so there's a variety of those kinds of things um, that are in various stages of completion now that we'll ultimately just have to you know, kind of refine those and wrap them up. Um, but that's part of what I'm going to be putting in this memo because that's part of all the different things that you're going to have to consider. Mm -hmm. um, there's a limited time frame in which to get all this done. Uh, under the law, once you close the public hearing, you basically have 62 days in which to you know, make your, your decisions and your determinations. Um, for the subdivision approval, you have to make the decision within 62 days. If you don't, um, it's an automatic approval. Um, the other approvals, there is no camera or real automatic approval for those. Uh, they're just a suggestion in the law that you try to issue those approvals or denials within that 62-day time frame. I typically encourage boards to try to do it all within 62 days. Um, in this situation, there's gonna be a lot of work to be done in that, in that time frame, but um, you know, the project's been going on a long time and we need to try to get it wrapped up and, um, and we need to try to do the best to get all that stuff done in, those, in that time frame. Now that list, we can um, have that posted on the uh, website also, right? For the public? What's that? The list that you're talking about, the developing, we could post that on the website for the uh, public, the, uh, to allow um, the public yeah, to do it. Yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, okay. probably do that. Right. You know, except to make sure not to strip out any you know, sort of privileged and confidential information right. that might be you know, provided before. But yeah, sure. we, we can we could probably do that. Okay. Okay. So it might be wise then at the um, public hearing, you know, depending on where we stand um, with uh, responses to all these comments and the progress in getting all of these um, these comments cleaned up, um, it might be wise to extend the public hearing then for a little bit longer so we don't find ourselves in a time crunch for a lot of this to get cleaned up? Well, that's a decision for you guys to consider. Um, you know, you, you're perfectly within your right to you know, extend the public hearing if you so desire to do that. Um, you know, but the applicant has these now, they're aware of them. I assume they will start working on trying to you know, clean those up. Um, and uh, I, I would assume that by the public hearing, and certainly within 62 days after the public hearing, 
they probably would have addressed all those all those issues. Yeah, because it's uh, May fifth is three weeks away. So. Um, okay. Well, and again, the requirements not that they have all these issues addressed at the point of completion. Um, prior to the public hearing, that's not what's required. I mean, uh, and they, as long as they're addressing, and or and we've also got the ability to make the approval again, like Dave said, conditional. Sure. Um, it's your decision to make. Yeah. You can ask them to do all this cleanup stuff of depending on documents asking. before you issue the approvals, yeah. or you can issue the approvals conditioned upon them doing all this cleanup work. And you know, I, I my personal opinion is that just to keep things moving along, you know, it's a lot easier to kind of give that that approval and then. You know, you're, you know, you're kind of set the schedule by which you know, things have got to be taken care of. Um, but that's within your purview to decide, um, you know, from the applicant as to what might be the best way for you to proceed. May, may I suggest something? Uh, sure. So the, you know, I, I had a deliberate to read a lot through the comments. I think, as, as Dave suggested, the vast majority of the comments are change a change word, you know, you're missing this note or stuff like that. Um, we should keep in mind that some of these plans might change. We're still having to go through DEC approvals, DOH approvals, and some of those stuff. So trying to nitpick all these little things and still then have to change it when uh, to extend the DOH or the DEC or any of them request changes is just double and triple work. So ultimately, we're going to have to submit one final plan that, all, that will get approved by the, by the uh, town when we receive all the related agencies' permits as well. So it will be an ongoing process, even even after the town gives us a conditional approval, if if they do. Thanks. <coughs> Any other questions from the board at this point? Or comments? Yeah. Yeah. Any other matters to discuss? No. Okay. Anybody from the public have any questions at this point? When will the uh, comments be on um, immunity or effect? I'm sure they'll be on there tomorrow. Tomorrow night? Well, that, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Just, I just got the last one. Oh, the, these comments, you mean the consultant's comments? Yeah. yeah. They could be on tomorrow? Try to. Okay. The next couple of days, probably. Anybody else? Tom? Tom Warner of Mania. Thank you. I, uh, we uh, started with uh, John Duffy's uh, form for bonding this project, which seems to be laid away. It cannot be just wiped away. The board that you represent is not the last word. The town board supersedes your authority and can change anything they choose. I don't think it would ever happen, but they could do it. You, your attorney can explain it better than I can. Because I don't practice law, I just read it. And sometimes I don't even do that very well. But the other portion was the Dutchess County Land Conservancy. That issue hasn't been resolved yet either. It was one of the comments that was in before, but it seems likewise to be Tabled. So, until you resolve some of these little things, how are you going to go into these massive things that you're going to be touched with? And you're going to do it in 60 days? We haven't been able to do it in three years. So, please, gentlemen, put on your thinking caps, because it's going to be tough. Thank you. And just a uh, comment on that, I mean, there's a lot of people that assume that certain things have been put aside or aren't being addressed. Um, 
whether it's the DLC, the land conservation easement, um, or the bonding issue, those are actually two very active parts of the process that are ongoing as we speak. Um, engineer, attorney are both looking at the bonding portion to determine what the actual cost from the town's perspective would be. Um, they'll be developing a proposal for what should be done. Um, it will be going back to the folks from Silo for consideration and their input on it again. And they'll be back and forth on that. Same with DLC. DLC has been going back and forth with the applicant and they've been going back and forth with us on the matters that DLC's um, conversing with them about. So again, this is not a matter that's been laid to rest. It's not being dealt with. It's being dealt with on an almost daily basis. And it's not, it's not completed yet, but um, it's being scrutinized very closely by all parties involved. And um, they'd be looked at by the public again before the uh, closure of this whole process. Just to add to that, um, uh, the applicant has uh, proposed a very detailed uh, financial security for performance bonds for the, for the project. <coughs> that's been included in the material that's available to the public and that's on the website for review. Um, <coughs> the applicant has also um, presented uh, a very detailed conservation easement with the Dutchess Land Conservancy, which they're working on. That document is also uh, available for public review and is on the, on the website prior to the public hearing. So you're absolutely right. And these things are pretty far along in the process um, and in fact almost near completion. Um, and th these are some of the cleanup items that have to get taken care of in the next 10 four months that people are working on. You're absolutely right. Okay. Any other comments? All right, I think we're all set. Any motion? I'll make that motion to close this meeting. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.